how's the past week been? You know, without knowing the opponent, now knowing the opponent, and uh, kind of the team's mindset heading into the knockout round. Yeah, I think preparation was the same for us. Uh, we were expecting a play. We were we were gearing up to play, and now having Pachuca at home, uh, it's exciting for us. What's the mood here in inside the building around the organization? Um, there's a history here with Pachuca. Um, you know, is, is that talked about? I know it's been 13 years, but just what's the what's the mood in that regard? I mean, a little bit. I think here right now we're we're centered on ourselves, and we're trying to build a winning culture. So. For us, it's just about winning. For the players, what, what do you get out of playing some of these Mexican teams with a different style, maybe with, with a different uh, crowd inside the stadium? What, what do you get out of it? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. It, it brings a whole new dimension to the game. You know, I've played some CONCACAF Champions League games as well with, with Toronto. Um, the atmosphere is just amazing. I mean, I think the fans, the fans bring another level as well. How much confidence grows inside you after a goal like the one you scored against Santos? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it'll boost anyone's confidence scoring a goal like that. But I think it's about keeping your head down and keep working hard. Uh, the next play is what matters. You know, the past, the past is the past. How did you see that play develop? Like, if you can kind of put put us in your shoes and just as you had the ball, yeah. you're coming down the right wing, and then you make that cut in, everything. I mean, how was it just kind of playing out? I guess in your mind. Yeah, I mean, in my, in my mind, you know, I got the ball wide and I just remember seeing a, a defender in front of me and, and kind of that being it. And for me, as, as, as an attacking, you know, winger mindsetted player, that was, that was it, a 1v1. And, you know, I had obviously scored a goal like that previously. So that kind of popped into my head a little bit. It was like, all right, let's just take this on and see what happens. So, I mean, so did you already know, like, that was what you were gonna do when you got the ball on the on the wing, or did it just kind of just happen on its own? It kind of just happens on its own. I mean, it's soccer. You know, there's no play that's the same, so you're kind of just going with whatever happens. How big are these opportunities for you to get playing time, not just in the league scope, but you know, also in the league and in the World Cup? Yeah, I think it's huge for me. You know, any opportunity I can get, um, especially with the talented team we have this year, is fantastic, and I'm just looking to keep creating creating more opportunities for myself. A couple of weeks back, uh, Griffin, um, after a game, Herrera was, was going a little bit deeper into the team. Uh, he singled you out specifically, said you trained harder than Ronaldo. He, he, <laughs> he, he cited your discipline. Um, to receive that kind of love from, from the team captain, the guy, uh, you know, for his career, uh, what, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I appreciate, I get the chills, you know, still. Uh, I appreciate Hector and I appreciate the work that he puts in as well. Um, he's somebody to look up to and the, and the talent that he has is unbelievable. And so to hear stuff like that from him, especially your captain, it, those are meaningful words for sure. Um, what, what is, um, you know, being around him, what do, you, what do you feel has helped you grow as a player um, being around him? You know, I think that there are, there are a lot of, uh, Actually, I'd say there are a few players in the world that have that, that kind of it factor, that you know, almost you know, greatness factor. And when you're around Hector, you can feel it. And so I think for me, it's just being around somebody that has that and, and being able to, to not only be a part of it, but kind of feel it as well when, when you're on the field together. It's special. Does it pull you aside? Does, does it coach you a little bit? Um, Speak maybe a little bit in the sense of you're still a young player. I imagine you have European aspirations, being part of the U.S. You know, national team setup. Um, does does he give you that kind of advice? Yeah, I think you know the language barrier is definitely a little tough, um, but with translators and even and and even my my Spanish and his English, we, we can have conversations. And he has pulled me aside uh, a, a couple of times and just had some some direct words with me. But anything he, he says, you, you take respect and you, 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 uh, you appreciate every ounce of, uh, of his advice. I can imagine your Spanish is getting much better. Yeah, un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll end with this one. Back in those days, when it was Houston against Pachuca, um, you get a lot of the Mexican fans coming to the game. They, they were there to root for the Mexican team against the U.S. team. There's that U.S. Yeah. rivalry. 
but they left Houston Dynamo fans. Um, do y'all feel you can have that same effect uh, in these games? You obviously played against Santos, now against Pachuca. Um, to win over that crowd that, that already lives the game here in Houston and, and make them Dynamo fans? Yeah, I think that's part of the role that we're trying, and that's part of the culture we're trying to create here. Um, you know, we want to be a winning culture, and we want those fans to be rooting for us. And so the more that we can win, I believe, the more that they'll start rooting for us. So, yes, I would say these games are, are big for trying to win over that crowd. Along with uh, Achacha being one of the captains, um, what words have you received or do you ask from you know, MLS champions like Escobar and, and Brad Smith? And, you know, having even a, a big guy as Fiachenko, um, is there anything you can share with us that they tell you or any advice? Yeah, I mean, I think for me it's just having those guys that have been in big situations and succeeded in big situations. I mean, you look at Brad Smith at Liverpool, Sivinchenko at Celtic, Hector at Letico, you know, even Escobar at Atlanta and, and L.A. You know, these are, these are big guys who have done big things. And so especially for a player like me who aspires to be that, it's just about listening. And, and trying to soak up as much as you possibly can from those types of players because they know what they're doing and they're, they're good at what they do. So how do you manage the pressure uh, of the transition when you go, of course, trying to be damaged, but then when you have to defend, how do you manage that? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a balance for, for any attacking outside back. Um, I think for me, it's just it's managing the, uh, the little aspects of the game, you know, where maybe the ball's on the other side you know, reacting inside instead of staying high and wide. Um, but that's the thing I continue to to grow in my game. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.